Originating in the jazz clubs of Washington, D.C., the Fred Hughes Trio has been performing, recording, and presenting clinics and workshops since 1989. A sampling of the group's performing credentials include the Elkhart, Cape May, East Coast, and Clifford Brown Jazz Festivals, and the 1996 Summer Olympics, and also tours to the Republic of Korea in 2001 and 2002. The current trio includes Amy Shook on bass and Frank Russo on drums, as well as, of course, Fred Hughes on the piano. Educational offerings is something all three members enjoy participating in during their free time. Some of the workshops include the International Association of Jazz Ed Educators Conference back in 1996 and 2003, the 2004 MENC, which stands for Music Educators National Conference. Currently, the Fred Hughes Trio is working hard at finishing their holiday full-length album, which we are going to be speaking about here today during our interview. So let us welcome then, Fred Hughes. Welcome to another episode of Artists in the Spotlight. This is Pat Stone. And today with us, we are honored, really, to have Fred Hughes as a jazz pianist. But, I mean, his music is, like, oh, unbelievable. I've been listening to it now for quite a while. Uh, and uh, I'm just very glad that Fred has taken the time from uh, his busy schedule to spend with us. Hello, Fred. How you doing? Great, Pat. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, it's my pleasure, man. Uh, your music... You know, you're the pianist, right? So you're composed the music as well, correct? Yes, depending on on uh, on any given show, uh, we do uh, uh, the trio's repertoire is anything from my originals, the bass player writes, um, and we do a fair amount of jazz standards. So on any given show, it's probably three quarters of, of of the show is original music, and the rest is standard repertoire from the jazz literature and the Ameri Great American Songbook. Cool. Now, you guys are a trio. Who's the other two? Uh, bass player is Amy Shook, and the drummer is Frank Russo. Wow. Uh, now, have you always had a trio, or you've been in big bands? Uh, I mean, because you've been you've been playing music for some time. Actually, I've been a professional musician since I was 12. So Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I've done it. Uh, I originally uh, went into the military right out of high school, as a musician, I went into the Army Bands program, and actually at that time I was a low brass player. My an initial job description for the Army was tuba player, uh, <laughs> but I quickly realized that my skills on piano probably were going to make me a little bit more money, so <laughs> I decided that it had to be one or the other, so I switched over to piano. But So to answer your question, I've, I've played in anything from orchestras to bands to big bands to trios. The trio has existed... Um, since I, I've always had a trio since I came back and got out of the military uh, from from Korea. So I had a trio then uh, that was called Alternative, and that was in the central Pennsylvania area. I had two wonderful musicians, uh, J.J. Wiggins. He's now his name is Hassan Shakur, um, who plays with Monty Alexander. And the, the drummer that we had, his name is Sammy Banks. He, he was on 52nd Street with uh, Dexter Gordon way mm -hmm. back. And so. And then I um, got the uh, gig with the Jazz Ambassadors, and I moved to Washington, D.C., and that's the beginning of the Fred Hughes Trio. And that particular trio has had several different bass players and drummers throughout the years. But, yes, the trio has been very active since uh, if there was a date for the Fred Hughes Trio, it would have been 1989. And you guys travel all over the place. We do. We do. Uh, you call? Money's right, we go. <laughs> <laughs> Have money, we'll travel. Yes. <laughs> uh, um, now, uh, one other thing before I get into talking about your upcoming uh, CD for the holidays is you guys are also involved, or are you still involved quite a bit with workshops and, and things like that, helping other people? Yes, yes, we are. All, all, all three of us uh, do. So we... We actually will go out and do, uh, as part of, of touring and, and playing, we'll do master classes in colleges and high schools. Um, and then each one of us are um, active in different situations when we're off the road and we're home. For instance, Frank uh, Russo, the drummer, 
Frank is the uh, uh, drum set percussion uh, drum set teacher at uh, Towson University here in Towson, Maryland. Um, Amy Shook continues to to work with different folks. I do a, a series of uh, classes um, called uh, Jazz Band Master Class, where um, adult musicians who want to play in a jazz band work with me. So I continue that. I also am the uh, jazz instructor at Bishop McNamara High School, and so yeah, I try to stay as active. And give it back, so to speak. Uh, wow. That's the way I learned. I, I was very fortunate to get with a bunch of great teachers from the time I was, I was a youngster, and uh, I think it's uh, very important to keep this music rolling forward and, and be an instructor as well. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Uh, jazz is such a beautiful genre, and and it's good because a lot of people associate jazz with like the older generation. And to to be able to continue presenting that to the younger generation, you know, as an alternative form of music out there, besides, you know, your country and your rock and your pop, you know, uh, I, I think it's, it's great because it, it, it keeps feeding the genre. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, and I mean, I'm sure that when you were, you said you've been playing, you know, music now for since you were a teenager, right? Yes, and so uh, the, the, somebody along the way introduced you to jazz music. Correct, and and so you're doing the same thing. So, like you said, you're paying back. Well, realistically, jazz has always been a very much a, a word of mouth type music. Sure, you 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 practice your scales and you do all of that type of of work, which any musician, classical musician, you know. And any musician is going to do that type of work. But to learn these tunes traditionally was someone that you played with or you went to jam sessions or however you got exposed to this music. And it was really much a one on one type situation. Then when you got good enough, your instructor or your 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 parents or your neighbor or I've just been reading um, Herbie Hancock's book, Possibilities, and he talks about how he got introduced to I mean, he was. He was a child prodigy as a, as a classical musician, but what really got him hooked on jazz and how he learned to play jazz was is a very interesting story. So I think it's very important that we provide opportunities, especially for the young folks, to A, listen to this music, learn how you kind of approach it, and then get out there and try and play it. Because otherwise, I mean, really, it's truly one of America's true only indigenous art forms. So we got to pass it along and keep it going as, as best we can. Absolutely. So let's talk about this new album that you've got coming up. Um, what's the name of it? It's called I'll Be Home for Christmas, and it will be in stores and available um, on November 27th, Friday, which is Black Friday. Right. Ah. And uh, that's going to be available everywhere, right? Yes, sir. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't call me, sir. <laughs> I work for a living, right? Yeah, I work for a living. I was a sergeant, remember? <laughs> we always say that. Don't call me, sir. I work for my living. Right. Uh, yeah, no, man. Just call me Pat. All my friends do. Is this the first holiday CD that you're putting out? Actually, it's not. I uh, I spent four years in Korea when I was in the military. Uh, I was in the 8th Army Band in Seoul, Korea. And during that time frame, I was very fortunate to uh, record six albums for EMI Oasis Records over in Korea. And the actual very first album I recorded for them was a Christmas album. And it was with a, a group that, that I had formed there called Just Friends, which featured uh, a Korean vocalist Kim Jun and a, uh, an English drummer. And then myself and the bass player were both in the 8th Army Band. So that was the very first Christmas album I ever recorded. And it's been on my uh, mind to do a new Christmas album for, for years. And my trio has evolved uh, into all kinds of different situations as far as the way that we approach music. Anything from the uh, standard jazz repertoire to what I do with uh, my original stuff. And we did a Christmas show this past Christmas. Um, and everybody that was there was like, you've got to record that. So we went in the studio in February and here it is. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. And I understand 
if I read your bio correctly, you're a retired uh, sergeant first class. Yes, yeah, I, yes. I, yeah. I, I was in uh, nineteen. I went in in nineteen seventy one, uh, and then then I retired in nineteen ninety three. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you for your service. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, all right, so listen. Uh, now let's talk about one of the songs that we're going to share. Which one? We we got a couple of them that we can share before it's released because the album hasn't yet been released. Uh, even though at some point you're going to have the ability for people to place advance orders. Is, is, are you planning on doing that also? Or? Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, it actually starts uh, November 1st for pre-orders on iTunes. Okay. Now, you're going to have the link to iTunes through your website? Yes, I will. So people, so we can direct people to your website, and then from there they can go to iTunes, they can do all kinds of other stuff. That's true. And in fact, I, I, I hope that people that are, are listening to your show will actually go to my website, fredhughes.com. On the front page there, um, it, I talk about the Christmas CD, and as part of the CD, I am uh, trying to put together a YouTube video. Um, utilizing one of the tunes from, from the CD, Oh Christmas Tree. And so I'd like people to send me a picture of their Christmas tree, put it on the YouTube video. And if you send me your picture, I will actually send you a, a download card so you can actually get the album for free. So go to fredhughes.com and, uh, and follow the instructions there. Sign up on my email list and send me a picture of your Christmas tree and you'll get a free CD. Cool. Uh, well, you know what? We got the two songs that we happen to have is one, I'll Be Home for Christmas, which is the title track, right? Yes. And the other one is, uh, you know, Christmas Tree. So, yeah, why don't we play Christmas Tree right now? All right, let's go ahead and play Christmas Tree. Here now is Fred Hughes with Christmas Tree. <laughs> 